Okay guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be reviewing my subscribers bikes. Now this video is going to take me quite a while because I have to record a certain way to make sure that the mic is actually working. So it would help me out a big amount if you could all drop a like and subscribe and turn on post notifications. Uh, if this video does well, then I will be making more. If it flops, then I won't. So obviously... If you leave a like, it'll help it do better in the algorithm if you enjoy the video. So, I'm not going to waste any more of your time, and let's get straight into the first bike. Okay, now the first bike I'm going to be reviewing is Elliot's Fat Quad. Now, it's basically all stock. The only thing that's been changed on it is, at the moment is the seat. It's not the stock seat, um, but the bike is really nice. I mean, Fat Quads are probably my favourite bike. I don't know if I'll end up ever getting one, but that would probably be one of my dream bikes to get. But there's not really too much you can say about Elliot's bike, apart from he's changed the seat and the pedals to red DMRs. But apart from that, you can't actually say too much about the seat, because it is basically stock. But yeah, let's get into the next bike. Okay, now I believe the next bike is a Jersey... I don't know, really know how you say it, spell your name, but it's R H Y S. Like I don't know how you pronounce it. Like Reese, I, th I think Reese. But basically, he's got a Mafia Blackjack, I believe it is, and he's made it black and red. Now he has clearly spent quite a bit of money on this bike, customising it. It's got hookworms with red tyre paint. It's got a red SE pad, a Dior brake, a black and red Mafia seat, um, all sorts of red parts to customise it. Overall, it's quite a nice bike, especially for a Mafia that I'm not usually fans of, a fan of Mafias, but I think the overall um, look of this bike is quite good, so I'll rate it an 8, mm, no, nah, a 7 out of 10, just because I'm not a big fan of Medusas. Okay guys, next we have George's Fat. Now, this is one of the nicest custom fats I have ever seen in my life, okay? It's beautiful. It used to be one way Kieran's old fat, and then he sprayed it white, did it red, and put black parts on it. It's just a beautiful customization. Now, I didn't, I wouldn't rate it as highly as a fat quad, although it is really, it's a really nice bike from looks-wise. And I can tell you spent quite a lot of money on it. I admit, um, not really ridden on it, but I've sat on it. If you get what I mean, outside of McDonald's before, and like I felt the pedals and it, it, the whole bike just felt really, really smooth. So yeah, I'm gonna rate that a nine out of ten. Okay, guys, next is his grey C100. It's the same person. It's still George's C100. Well, no, still George's bike because he has a C100 and a fat. Now, not just yours, George, but every grey C100 is just so pain. Okay, these bikes are so peng. It's the nicest C100 colour they've ever made. And it's just beautiful. Like, you don't need to do much to it. Just, like, the colour is so nice. And, like, it just suits so well. So, I'm going to have the rate. And do you have put on a couple customizations that does actually make it even more peng than it usually is. I like the hookworms. So, I'm going to have the rate this 9.25 out of 10. Because it's just so sexy. Okay, next we have... I don't know if I'm saying this right, but it's like Jean Pat or something like that. We have his Giant, which has been customised quite a lot. Uh, it looks... Oh god, I'm having a yawn. Ignore that. Um, it looks quite nice with the grey and red colour scheme that he's gone for. And he's also got a black collective seat with the black collective logo. I've never seen that before, but it's quite cool. I don't even know if it was like a printing error or something like that. But yeah, he's got one of them. So, technically, it's kind of rare. Because I've never seen one before. Now, the bike overall does look quite nice. But does it compare to something like the C100? I, I don't think so. But, you know, he, he does alright on it. And he's definitely coming up. So, I'm going to have to rate it a 7.5 out of 10. Okay, next we have BL Cons's Mafia Bomber in 29. I have ridden this before, and I'm, I don't think it's anything to do with his bike. I think it's just the way that those bikes are built. They have a really... They feel heavy, and they... 
As soon as you pull them up, they somehow like get really light and have perfect balance points. So that is something that I do like about the new 29 Bombers. But if we're talking about looks wise, in my opinion, I don't know why he got the chrome bars and forks. Like, I think it would have looked better just to keeping it black. But, you know, it's his bike and his choice. But I think the colours are a bit too mixed and matched for my liking. So for that, I'm going to have to rate it a 6.5 out of 10. Okay, um, I can't, I'll hopefully I'll be able to find this kid's Instagram later. But um, this kid has sent me a photo of his fat. I believe it's his fat. And it is so nice. It's... Oh, so peng. I know it, Joe, it's Joe Beckett's old, old one, and Joe Beckett customised it. It's one, probably one of the nicest custom fats I've ever seen. So it's made to kind of look like a uh, 18, but I, you know, I think it could even be better than an 18. I'm not really sure. But it is just a beautiful bike. I can't really, I don't really want to talk about it too much because if I went over every customization, I would be here for a completely separate video. So I'm just going to give it a solid 9.5 out of 10. It's beautiful. Okay, guys. Next we have Thomas or Tom or One Way Tom's fat. Now this fat is quite a nice bike to ride. When I went on it, the only problem was the cranks, but I believe that's been sorted now. Uh, it's basically quite a simple fat. There's not really too much to say about. It. He's taken off the sticker kit, but he told me when he sent it to me that he has plans. Uh, for the bike so obviously it's not done but today we're reviewing the bikes of what they look at look like right now and just because i think it would have looked better right now with a stick here i'm gonna have to rate it a 7.5 out of 10. okay next we have it's like bl manu or something like that maybe manu i don't really know but yeah i'll put his instagram in um and this is his um orange mafia bomber it's like a kind of crackle one it's quite nice it's got a silver stem and silver peg so i don't know if he's gonna go with the silver kind of look to it but uh, as it is right now i'm gonna have to rate it a seven out of ten i mean i like it but i'm not a big fan of the colorway but bikes are usually personal preferences so if you like the colors then stick with it that's what I say. If you like your bike, then you should stick with it. You shouldn't worry about what other people think about it. It's your, it should be your preference. So, yeah, that was my... Uh, that's my opinion on the Orange Crackle Bomber. So, let's get straight into the next bike. Okay, now we have this kid called Bobby's Fat Ripper. Now, this is a sexy beast, okay? It's got a blue frame with black speckles on it. And Fat Ripper in black blacked out parts i mean no, didn't really go anywhere wrong here just basically all round beautiful bike i haven't ever ridden it so i don't know how smooth it rides but look if we're just talking about looks it looks so nice so i'm gonna have to rate it a nine out of ten hey guys we're getting to the last bike review of the day so if you did enjoy this video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe turn on post notifications because I need to know guys if you liked this video if you did drop down in the comments and say you enjoyed it and you want more because if you guys don't want me to do more I won't do more but if you want me to do more I'll happily do more maybe one or two a week because I'm definitely going to be riding less because of lockdown but yeah let me know if you want me to do more and we'll get straight into the last one Okay guys, the last one is, this is also Bobby's bike, it is the C100 Pro in red. Okay, this bike is really nice, it's got um, like a chromish red like paint to it and then white like sticker kit. It's just like really nice, the rock trips go really well, the hookworms go really well. Everything on the bike just looks like it's gone together really well. So Bobby, I don't know if you're watching this, but your bike's you've done a good job you, you clearly know how to customize bikes well and how to make them look nice so yeah um this gonna have to be a i don't i don't want to give it the same score as, as the fat because i don't like it as much as the fat i think the fat is better looking in my opinion but that's because i'm more of a fan of blue so i'm gonna have to give the c100 
an 8.75 out of 10, but it's still a sexy bike and you should be proud of it. Okay guys, so the video is over and you, you already know from what I said before I did the C100 Pro review to subscribe and everything. So go check out my other videos if you did enjoy this video. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to make more videos like this. And subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a like on the video and I'll see you all in the next one.